Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to talk to you briefly about uh, hydroponic nutrients here. I use this for my Kratky and my deep water culture. Um, I just wanted to run you through a, a few basic things. Uh, there's a very important order of mixing when you use these. You want to do things right or stuff will settle out and basically your plants won't be able to use the expensive fertilizer that you're putting in there. So this is the way I mix my nutrients. Some people may do it differently, but what matters is the order is right. So potassium silicate, anything like that goes in first. I happen to have some right here. Boom. Throw it in there. Mix it around. And give it a few minutes to get well mixed. You don't want anything falling out. You'll know it's happened if you find a a residue in the bottom of your container. It's pretty obvious. So next in order is uh, CalMag. I'm using Cali Magic, part of the uh, general hydroponics lineup. To be honest, I'm going to be switching soon to uh, Master Blend, so I'll be able to give you guys a good breakdown on how that works as well and uh, a comparison. I'm just uh, thinking these liquid nutrients are a little expensive. You can get a lot more with the the powdered stuff. So, next in order of operations is your Cali Magic. So, I'm not going to mix them now. I'm just going to make a, a video to show you guys the order. After you've put that in, stir it well, let it rest a few minutes. Next is going to be your Flora Micro. Same thing, mix it in, give it a few minutes, then your Bloom, then your Grow, then any other additives. That's Floralicious Plus. It's full of humic acids and other good things for the roots. I, I really find just a small amount of this. You only have to use a tiny amount, like a milliliter per gallon, and uh, it gives me great results. But beware the smell. It is smelly. It, it does wear off after a few days, though. Now, once you've got your nutrients all mixed up, the next thing you're going to do is you need to have a pH pen and something. In my case, I always have to pH down, if any. Rarely do I have to go up, that's why I've got the, the down out, but uh, you'll want to use one of these. Uh, I find a good starting place for my liking is uh, right around 6, maybe a little lower than 6, 5.8. And, uh, you know, for these tomatoes, I'm going to run about 1,200 parts per million on the 500 scale. So that'll give you an idea what I'm doing. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll be giving lots more informative tutorials all summer long. I'll be working a little better on my speaking as well. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to thank you, and that's that. Happy mixing.